Greetings folks, today I'm going to be looking at the Cadex Nebula Pro digital FPV camera suitable for the DJI digital high definition FPV video system. This one is the Nebula Nano camera. What I'm going to do is swap the Nano for the Pro. Hopefully that will mean we get better image quality. The Nebula Nano is compatible with both the analog and digital systems so it won't be wasted. I'll be able to use that on an analog setup. Oh, by the way, this is a little 3D printed mount that I've made up available on my Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the description for you. Just a simple mount using a, a normal mini size metal bracket for the camera and bolting through to the bottom. And just gluing in a bamboo skewer there for the antenna. What we're going to do is have a look at the Nebula Pro. This is the camera and the cable. And we get some mounting screws as well. We also get a little quick start guide. Lightweight digital FPV camera supports 720, 120 frames per second. End to end latency 28 milliseconds. Weight 8.5 grams. One third inch sensor does 4.3 and 16.9. Let's have a closer look at the camera. So it's basically just the cable and the camera, a little plastic cover, pretty much the same form factor as the Nano. Time to decide how we're going to swap it over. We can either swap it over on the camera end or the transmitter end. I think the camera end is going to be easier. We'll have a look anyway. I'll take apart the video transmitter. Seeing the cable is already connected to the camera, but I'll show you the camera side as well. Just pull out the four bolts in the corners, prise it apart. All the heat transfer glue there. And this is the part we're interested in. So that just pops off. It's not too difficult. Now we'll grab the now we'll grab the pro. Make sure we've got it the right way. And it just clicks into place. Oh, that's pretty easy. Doesn't seem to be any clips or anything like that. So we just have to when we're putting it back together uh, just make sure this is lined up nicely there we go put the screws back in and we're in business that was easy all looking good it's sort of held in by this sort of spring uh, clamp there pushing down on it which is good all right so I'll look at the camera end now going back to the nebula nano same sort of connection two screws that cover just comes off there and you can see it's the same sort of thing we just pull that off if you have to replace a cable or you want to just use it for, as an analog camera which I will be doing there we go that just pulls out like that cool easy as that then you can swap the cable as well if you break it the nano image quality is uh, it's quite good it has high it has the dynamic range turned up high uh, so it, it looks like a high dynamic range analog camera rather than a DJI sort of full quality digital camera it's uh, still a lot better than analog, but just doesn't have that uh, sort of cinematic quality that the DJI digital camera has. Anyway, let's try it out now. Just for interest's sake, I've connected up the Nebula Nano to an uh, analog system. There it is there. Uh, and I have a keypad. That's a run cam keypad, but that will still work. I haven't got the digital cable there. It's just the analog. Power, ground and signal. 
and we can do all the normal analog sort of adjustments flip brightness contrast sharpness so we can adjust all the colors to improve them white balance language reset exit save all yes so now that's a perfectly good analog camera okay let's get back to the pro here's the cadix nebula pro mounted up on the tail of my scratch built mackie jet uh, it's just taped on there for the moment it's a, it, uh, it's not a permanent fixture um, I could make it a lot more aerodynamic if it was but uh, that's going to do me for this flight I'm just going to have external battery power for it not connected to the flight battery or a flight control board or anything like that with this plane this plane has such a long nose that uh, the battery actually sits almost on the uh, center of gravity so any weight I put down the back is easy to balance just by moving the the flight battery forward a little bit um, and and now instead of sitting over the wing it's just sitting about there under the cockpit which is nice and easy I have taken it for a flight already and that's the footage I'll show you in this video had a bit of a problem during the flight uh, I lost my prop and prop nut but uh, it was as I was coming in for a pass so I could just put it down easily and land it so enjoy the flight and uh, I'll do some more footage with this setup once I get back out to the field thanks for watching